As we mentioned earlier, Cobra and the Lotus are back from Europe after a big tour, something they've been doing a lot of recently, touring. Their latest album is Prevail 2. It is the second chapter of sorts in the Prevail series. With me again are Cobra Page and guitarist Yasho Kulikowski. Thanks for coming in. Now, what we just saw there, that was the, the electric version of what you did <laughs> earlier, which was the acoustic version. Uh, quite a contrast between the two. But your background is in classical music. So how did you make the transition from the classics to hard rock? It wasn't actually a difficult transition, just because I had initially saw Judas Priest when I was younger, and mm -hmm. I thought there's a place for my vibrato and my voice that's not operatic. So that's why I jumped into metal. But as we've progressed uh, in this career, um, and with Cobra and the Lotus, we have ventured into hard rock as yeah. we've evolved as people and just needed a different taste. And so that's how that started. But a lot of the techniques and breath support is exactly the same. Really? Yeah. How does it go over with the audience then? Uh, great. I mean, our, <laughs> our uh, audience is coming for our music. So, so far, so good. I mean, people attach to things that they like to hear. And that's why there's so much music out there. Yeah. I, I got to mention, you dealt with Lyme disease. Yes. Uh, how, how did that affect you and your musical career? Uh, well, we did have to get pulled off the road for a significant period. We um, were starting to pick up momentum around 2013. And uh, I had to pull everyone off the road, unfortunately, for several months because I was just not well enough and there's to be no on one tour. who can replace you <clears throat> I mean you are the lead singer right? Uh, yeah I mean it's a it is kind of the, the our thing it's the sound <laughs> but you never know uh, but uh, no like this is what we're doing right now and then uh, when we went in the studio with prevail one and two I was really facing the worst of the Lyme disease so I was facing a lot of uh, chronic fatigue uh, brain fat uh, brain fog short-term mm. memory loss um, so my brain felt like it was in a fishbowl like all the time. And uh, I had a sore throat for over a year because I had mono and mm. that I couldn't get rid of. My immune system was just that depleted. So it was a very rough time. Um, but at the same time, uh, it was exactly meant for that moment because there are things that went into Prevail 1 and 2 as a vocalist that right. would not have existed if I was not going through the this stress, the physical stress yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you guys have been touring in Europe and uh, extensively uh, across the U.S. Uh, do you find different audiences between North America and Europe? Yeah. Yeah, totally. I mean, uh, culturally, I think there's a lot of difference between the two places, and it shows up everywhere, uh, including, you know, concert events is a bit of a different energy. But at the same time, like, rock music and metal music is a very, like, globalized thing. Mm -hmm. Most people are in it for the same reasons. And so it's a very familiar thing. Doesn't matter where you're right. at. Yeah. It brings people together. Totally. Yeah. Something we can all agree on. You guys have a cover tune of Fleetwood Mac, uh, The Chain, right? Yes. Uh, and, and when I think of that song, I think of, well, Lindsey Buckingham's guitar playing. So how did you adapt for it? <laughs> well, oh man, I, I honestly have to give a super amount of credit to uh, our co-producer for the record, uh, Martin. Haggard Wolf because he sort of he was really great at champion, championing um, clean and crunchy guitar sounds yeah. and um, half of those in there are ones that actually he played and I would bring the heavy element to it and you know together we came up with the wall of the guitar sound that, that you'll hear there yeah. um, but it's always a challenge you know like stepping into the shoes of the greats like that it makes you push yourself mm -hmm. and look for ways to get out of your own patterns and figure out what worked about what they did and somehow bring yourself into it mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. uh, Canadians can buy your CDs right now or I suppose download them as well. Uh, when can Canadians or Calgarians see you guys in concert? Oh. Soon we hope. <laughs> you know Canada has been a tough territory for us. Um, I, I feel like a lot of Canada isn't even aware we're still here and it's just been kind of one of those things where we're working our way backwards in. Uh, so I don't know, we, we're trying really hard to work on it, but we're also now an international band. Yeah. So we have a guitar player from uh, Miami and we have a drummer from Chicago. Mm -hmm. So it's a cost and a thing to bring all of us together. So it means there needs to be a tour, it needs to be a plan. 
Um, so hopefully soon. Yeah. But Canadians can find our record at Sunrise Records right now. Uh, that's been pretty cool. They're promoting us as a local project that's out of the city yeah. and that's been nice to see. It's the first time in 10 years we've seen that kind of thing. Well, let's hope uh, the rest of Canada catches on to you real soon. Oh. Good well, luck. Thanks for having thank us. You so yes, much. thank you. Thank you for, for coming in. You can find all you need to know about Cobra and the Lettuce, uh, Lotus on Twitter, Instagram, <laughs> Facebook, or of course their website, cobraandthelotus.com. Jocelyn, Kevin. All right. Thanks, guys. They're fantastic. So talented.